Okay, so my name is uh, Silva and I'm here from Anchorage Digital. Um, I don't know, per perhaps a show of hands who have heard about Anchorage before. Just a few, just a few people. So Anchorage Digital is actually the first federally chartered bank to operate out of the United States. So we are in, in fact um, a digital assets bank and we um, operate directly uh, through different blockchains and basically if you want to sum up we store private keys in a secure way and we allow customers to interact through our platform without ever needing to access those private keys um, in fact we are we believe we are the most secure um, um, crypto that, our digital asset platform. We work with some of the big names in the industry, namely Visa and uh, a GYC, the, the sovereign fund from Singapore. And we are enabling new ways of interacting with different blockchains, and especially within the financial sector. So we provide custody, um, finance and trading uh, services to all these financial players. In fact, um, our story with IST starts way before the company was actually born. Diogo Monica, a former student from IST, is one of our founders. And um, him and Nathan, together, they were one of the, few, the first employees at Square. Square is a payments company out of the United States. And, and then they moved together to Docker, which is a, a technology that Nowadays, everyone uses one way or the other, and you can basically have access to it on all major uh, cloud platforms. And so, actually, um, Anchorage started out of a need. They were getting contacts directly from people that, uh, if you remember, Bitcoin um, had perhaps zero value or close to zero value, and then in 2017, uh, it boomed. And then several people, they realized that they lost the keys to their wallets. And so they were reaching out to Diogo and Nathan to help um, to get access to quickly access to, to those wallets. And as they have more and more calls of different people trying to get access to now wallets that were worth of a few million dollars, they realized that there was actually a need to build a company that were security securely storing those private keys and getting and giving access to to those funds and so um this partnership with technico um starts uh started when Dio was actually um a student but now we are working with this central on two projects and hopefully we get them approved from prr and we can actually um start to work together more closely through the next years. So one of the projects is around hot wallets research. And one of the slides from Adi just showed the problem of the gas fees on transactions. And as we move to more and more smaller transactions, if we want to really have crypto payments, then we need to optimize the way we handle gas fees. And so hot wallets allows us to do um, millions of transactions per second and at the same time, we need to find a way to securely store the private keys for uh, a so large number of transactions, but also how can we improve gas fees so that we can, so when we execute those transactions on chain, uh, we can actually uh, do it smart in, and, and spare on those gas fees. The other project is actually also very interesting around DeFi yield generation opportunities. As we know, uh, inflation is one of the, the problems that will uh, um, be around for the next couple of years. And it's interesting now that we have more and more people holding crypto, um, they want or they are looking for a way to generate yield. So how can I put this crypto um, funds that I have to work as I did within the, the financial sector? And so we need to figure out a way of doing this and the financial sector already has some measures to, to and, and we have uh, several decades of work around this topic. But now, with the volatility of the crypto markets, uh, margin calls and, and collateral um, 
monitoring is indeed a problem. And so we need to figure out a way to do this uh, in a more efficient and, and, and to get a sense of how this caudal movement will work in the future. And so um, we believe, and we encourage, we were funded in the US, but we are in Portugal now for more than a year. Um, we are around 30 people already in Portugal, and our expectation is to, to grow even more. And we believe that Portugal has the, the, the sauce to create a really good European tech hub around DeFi. So as we move into a decentralized economy, our problem of being in the peripheral of Europe is no longer a problem. It's actually a good thing. And we can work um, so that Portugal could be one of the, the new uh, European hubs for blockchain technology. And that's why Anchorage is also uh, betting on Portugal to grow. And um, we are hiring people across the across the country. We are not uh, closed by boundaries or uh, physical spaces. And we hope to, to grow together with technical to grow the tech in Portugal, to grow the community, and to grow our company as well. So thank you very much for, for inviting us. Um, it is a real pleasure to be here on, on, on this day. And I, you guys can, can count on us to help on any means necessary so that we can grow this tech in Portugal and we can grow the community. Thank you very much.